Hello, my name is Gleb Budman. I'm co-founder and CEO of Backblaze. In 2007, my co-founders and I realized that everything was going digital, and no one was focused on making the management of that data easy. As a team, building easy-to-use software was what we had been doing together for nearly a decade at that point. After our prior software company was acquired, I and my four co-founders quit our jobs to start a company focused on solving that need of making it easy to store, use, and protect all that data. That company was Backblaze. We started Backblaze by putting in our own money and focusing on product, customers, and building a great culture. Despite mortgages and Silicon Valley life expenses, each of us took no salary for over a year then roughly minimum wage for the next two years because we were that committed to this company and this mission. Today, nearly 15 years later, I'm both extremely proud of what we have built and also excited at the foundation this gives us with IPO proceeds to accelerate our mission and pursuit of this vast opportunity. I wanna start with why Backblaze is unique. And I want you to think about the last time you came across a technology company with this combination of attributes a company that has nearly 500,000 paying customers in over 175 countries around the world, where its key growth product line has grown over 60% year on year, twice the rate of the rapidly growing public cloud market, and with very strong 130% net revenue retention, where five co-founders have worked together for over 20 years, successfully exiting two prior tech companies and are still actively building the company today. A company that has achieved $65 million ARR, having effectively all of its revenue recurring. And we have done all of this on less than $3 million in outside equity investment through 2020. We believe the combination of these attributes, along with our growth and efficiency are unique and we plan to apply this expertise in capital efficiency to growing with IPO proceeds. Now let's talk about the market. We operate in the data storage market. It's a great market to be in because data is growing rapidly and no one wants to delete anything. You and I experience that every day. Everyone has become a data hoarder and all of that data needs to be stored, used and protected. That has resulted in an estimated $91 billion market in 2025, according to IDC. And Backblaze has built a unique storage cloud for all that data. To develop our storage cloud, we wrote millions of lines of software code that currently operates about 200,000 hard drives in five data centers around the world. Today, the Backblaze storage cloud has approximately two exabytes of data storage under management you can see the hockey stick scaling of our data storage here. So where are we headed? We are building an independent cloud platform for data storage. For each major element of the tech stack, an independent cloud platform has emerged and built a large business. Yet no one has done that for data storage. We believe that data storage is the most critical of all these elements since none of them would exist without data. And being in an independent cloud platform for data storage provides us with the ability to not only store data for customers, but help customers protect and use that data. And rather than just me telling you this, I want to let the CEO of Cloudflare share why they partner with us. For those of you not familiar with Cloudflare, they are a New York Stock Exchange listed cloud platform that at the time of this recording had a market cap of about $50 billion. Cloudflare is one of the world's largest networks. For more than 25 million internet properties, we make them faster, more secure, more reliable. And so as we were thinking at Cloudflare about how can we make the internet better for all of our customers, Backblaze was an obvious partner. We wanted to make sure that our customers always had just blazing fast service while also getting the best possible value. Cloudflare's customers range from individual developers to some of the largest companies in the world. Our job is to move data from one place to another place fast, efficiently, securely, reliably. 
but the data has to be stored somewhere. And so what Backblaze does is provides consistent, reliable storage that's incredibly affordable for any of our customers to use. One of the challenges of the big cloud providers is they have all these other businesses that they're doing at the same time. If you're one of their customers, you don't really know where your data is necessarily going and how it might be used against you. One thing that's great about Backblaze is they are one of the independent clouds that allows you to just know it's a really simple value proposition. You pay them for their services at a reasonable rate and they're not gonna compete against you someday. Sometimes the big cloud providers are a little bit like the Hotel California. You can check in and put your data there, but then getting it back out is really hard. And that's why working with Backblaze and Cloudflare through the Bandwidth Alliance, we've made it so that you can actually pull your data out without paying these egregious data transfer fees. And that's one of the things that our customers love when they're working with Backblaze. We build the best network. They build some of the best storage that's out there, and together, that delivers incredible value that allows people to build the applications of the future. So as Matthew says, we have built some of the best storage on the planet. Now let me be super clear about what we actually sell. We sell two cloud services, Computer Backup and B2 Cloud Storage, and both are built on the Backblaze Storage Cloud. Computer Backup is our original product line and is a great business. And B2 is a rocket ship. Computer Backup is a virtually unlimited cloud backup SaaS service that automatically backs up laptops and desktops for businesses and individuals for a flat rate of about $70 per year per computer. Once backed up, customers are protected from crashed hard drives, ransomware, and other data risks. IT administrators can easily roll this out to all their employees and they love the predictability of unlimited flat rate pricing so they don't have to worry about what their employees decide to store on their computers. In the time I've just described this cloud service, you could already have your computer be backing up to our storage cloud. It's that easy. Now, whereas computer backup is for backing up laptops and desktops, B2 is useful for developers and IT people to solve almost any storage need. B2 is on-demand storage that can scale up as needed and customers are charged for the storage used at just half a penny per gig per month. Something a lot of people don't understand is that every application that all of us use at work, on our phones, on the web, requires behind the scenes data storage. If you're building or running one of these applications, you can either deal with the cost and complexity of building your own data centers or outsource it to a third party referred to as the public cloud. For developers and IT people behind these applications, B2 is the easiest to use and lowest cost public cloud storage. Let me share the metrics behind each of these cloud services. Computer Backup, our original cloud service, had revenue growth of 23% in 2020 and has grown every year since the founding of the company nearly 15 years ago. Today, Computer Backup is at a $43 million ARR and represents about two thirds of our overall business. Over 430,000 of our customers are paying about $100 per year and it has over 100% net revenue retention. While Computer Backup is a great business, B2, which we launched only five years ago, is a hyper-growth jewel. The service had revenue growth of 66% in 2020 and is now at a 22 million ARR. It has scale with approximately 70,000 customers, an ARPU that's three times higher than Computer Backup, and better yet, it has impressive 130% net revenue retention. B2 is already one third of our whole company. And as it continues to scale, we expect it to drive the overall company's metrics. Both of these cloud services have multiple growth paths. Computer backup grows through new customers, additional subscriptions purchased by businesses to cover more computers, upsell of our recently introduced $2 per month extended version history functionality, and a $1 per month price increase introduced in 2019 that has rolled through and another $1 per month price increase that went into effect in August and will provide a tailwind for the next couple years as it rolls through the customer base. B2 grows through new customers, growth in their data since we charge on a consumption basis, and the upsell of our upcoming cloud replication feature, which enables customers to keep data in multiple regions. 
This feature helps them and doubles our revenue from those customers that choose to use it. In addition to driving cost efficiencies by operating both cloud services on our shared storage cloud platform, we also get efficiencies by having a shared go-to-market. And the opportunity to cross sell our cloud services is demonstrated by the approximately 13,500 customers currently using both. Now let me explain how these cloud services fit into the market landscape. First, computer backup. As soon as you utter those words, people think about eight other companies that might do this, like Dropbox, iCloud, Google Drive. But here's what they don't do. None of them are unlimited. None of them automatically back up all your data. None back up external hard drives. None will ship your data to you. And none will provide you a private encryption key option to ensure your data is fully protected. And all costs more than Backblaze Computer Backup if you have more than a little bit of data. Backblaze Computer Backup is a cloud service people love. There's a reason that Wirecutter, the product review section of the New York Times, after doing a deep dive into the product, selected Backblaze as the best for most people and why we have millions of fans. Now, Backblaze B2 competes in the storage part of the public cloud market. While Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud all play in the public cloud market, they have increasingly focused on the largest enterprises with the most complex use cases. This leaves a void where the mid-market is ignored and underserved. Other choices for mid-market customers are to continually manage complicated on-premises equipment, but most companies are looking to move their data to the cloud with a trusted vendor. And we see no substantive competitor in the mid-market for two reasons. Storage isn't a focus for these companies, and their pricing is two to five times ours. While Backblaze can scale to any size organization, as demonstrated by our two exabytes of data storage, we are optimized for the mid-market. And while each of the mid-market companies are not huge, together they make the bulk of the public cloud infrastructure as a service storage market that is estimated at nearly $100 billion in 2025. And as fast as this market is growing, Backblaze B2 is growing nearly two times faster. So what do these customers use B2 for? B2 is a platform. So customers use it for a wide range of use cases. Let me share two customer examples. The first is Gladstone Institutes, a biomedical research facility. They have hundreds of employees, including multiple Nobel Prize winners, doing critical medical research. That research data was being backed up on LTO tape, a modern version of a cassette tape. At peak, they had 900 of these tapes to manage, which became unwieldy. They wanted to modernize their data management and moved all that data to Backblaze B2. This enabled them to have their data off-site, updated in real time, available on demand, and dramatically easier to manage. But their usage of Backblaze didn't end there. The parent organization of Gladstone was hit with ransomware and had to pay out $1 million for their data. As a result, they required all their organizations to protect themselves from ransomware. The research team advocated for Backblaze to the IT group at Gladstone which then chose to use Backblaze B2 to protect all their systems data from ransomware. So this is an example of an IT organization moving data from on-premise to our B2 cloud storage, expanding their use cases from data backup to ransomware protection, and the data in both use cases continues to grow, thus generating increasing revenues for us. The second example is a SaaS developer migrating from Amazon to Backblaze. CloudSpot is a SaaS platform for professional photographers to manage their business. After a photo shoot, the photographer can create a beautiful gallery. The client can then use CloudSpot to browse photos and even purchase prints. When CloudSpot started their business, AWS gave them free credits and CloudSpot built their service on it. A year later, when the first invoices started rolling in, it was a shock. CloudSpot felt trapped inside AWS the fees were high and the costs of migration complicated, expensive, and risky. That's when CloudSpot discovered Backblaze. They moved 700 terabytes of data from Amazon S3 to Backblaze B2 in a couple of days and were then able to move the rest of their infrastructure to Backblaze partners Cloudflare and DigitalOcean. By the way, we'll talk about our efficient go-to-market later, but this is an example of how we work with partners on that. 
Once CloudSpot moved to Backblaze, they immediately started saving over $10,000 per month, which allowed them to accelerate software development by hiring more engineers, to introduce a freemium tier to grow their business, and to upgrade their infrastructure to leverage these independent cloud platforms. The first customer example was an IT use case with on-premises data moving to our cloud. This example is a developer use case moving from cloud to cloud. These are just two examples of the almost 70,000 B2 customers around the world that we help. Now, why do customers choose us? Customers choose Backblaze because we're easy, affordable, and trusted. We're easy because we focus on just storage, on cutting away all the complexity and on making simple to use products. Apple has built a $2 trillion company on making technology easy to use. It's not easy to do that, but pays dividends when you do. The result of our focus on making the technology easy has been an independently verified savings for customers of up to 92% of operational time versus other cloud platforms, 92%. We're affordable, charging just one-fifth of the diversified cloud platform's pricing. And we're trusted, not only because we have been proven over 15 years and exabytes of scale, but because we're an independent cloud platform. We neither lock in customers with expensive egress fees nor aim to compete with them. So whereas other companies are complex, expensive, and conflicted, Backblaze is easy, affordable, and trusted. It's still a reasonable question for an investor to ask, frankly, for most companies, but isn't Amazon the 800 pound gorilla here and won't Amazon do X? Here's our view. Backblaze B2 is focused on that mid-market void, thus not competing head to head with Amazon. We estimate matching B2 pricing would cost Amazon billions of dollars. And finally, customers increasingly need multiple clouds for regulatory, compliance, insurance, and data resiliency reasons. Backblaze B2 is the optimal cloud for that multi-cloud use case, since customers can keep their data in a combination of Amazon and Backblaze at a dramatically lower cost than even keeping the data in two Amazon regions, and customers then benefit from vendor diversification. So this is why, regardless of Amazon, we see our opportunity to build a large independent cloud platform. And not only customers and partners, but the press has recognized that we're disrupting the storage as a service cloud space. How are we so much easier and more affordable? It becomes apparent even when just looking at the pricing. On the left is Backblaze. On the right is Amazon. This is just their web services, just storage, just S3, just their simplified pricing table. There are entire companies dedicated to just figuring out your bill at AWS. Even Amazon's CTO said he doesn't think S3 is simple anymore. So we're dramatically easier and dramatically more affordable. As you can see here for 100 terabytes, we're about one fifth the price of Amazon S3. And you can imagine how big of a difference it makes for a company to save that much on their storage bill. Now, the obvious question is, how can you be so much lower cost? When we started Backblaze, we planned to build our computer backup service on top of Amazon S3. When we did the math, we realized it was so expensive that we would lose money on every customer. So we ended up designing our own storage cloud. We designed our own servers and wrote our own cloud storage file system consisting of millions of lines of software code, thus driving tremendous cost efficiencies, as you can see in this chart from a blog post we published back in 2009. Today, our storage cloud stores over 500 billion files for customers, all available on demand. Our purpose-built software manages nearly 200,000 hard drives and one terabit per second of network capacity across five data centers that are interconnected by private network infrastructure. This software platform distributes data across hard drives, which it then organizes into groupings of storage pods, vaults, clusters, and regions. This scale, along with our efficiency and expertise developed over years of growing the Backblaze storage cloud, provides a robust platform and significant barriers to entry. We've built this robust platform with easy to use and affordable cloud services. Now, how do we efficiently sign up customers? It starts with our content and community. We have been publishing storage focused content on our blog for nearly 15 years and built a community of over 3 million readers and fans. For example, 
On a quarterly basis, we publish reliability statistics on all 200,000 hard drives that we operate. People love that content, and it's the only place on the internet where it's available. We have an entire go-to-market motion around this, including a head of publishing, a publishing calendar, and distribution through social and press. This content and the engagement helps efficiently build brand, awareness, and love for the company, bringing qualified leads to our site and making our marketing efforts more efficient. With those efforts, we have two selling motions, self-service and sales assisted. Our self-service motion enables prospects to show up, try the service, enter a credit card, and scale nearly infinitely without talking to a person. This motion drives excellent efficiency and represents over 80% of our revenue. With Sales Assisted, we have inside salespeople helping prospects along their journey. This motion results in deal sizes that are approximately 20 times larger. Both of these motions are scaling and will further benefit from IPO proceeds. The self-service motion benefits from additional people creating content, agencies distributing it, and our funnel optimization efforts. The sales assist motion benefits from additional salespeople closing deals, customer success managers helping upsell customers, as well as investments in growing our partnerships. Now let's talk about those partnerships. We have developer partners and alliance partners. Developer partners tend to be cloud platforms with whom we jointly work to enable developers to build applications. You heard from the CEO of Cloudflare about how we work together, and I shared the customer example of Photography Business CloudSpot earlier and how they used us in conjunction with some of our developer partners to build a top-tier infrastructure run on independent cloud platforms. Alliance partners are typically software that IT deploys to solve some use cases and through which customers select to have their data flow to Backblaze B2. For example, Veeam is a leading data protection provider that sells software for IT to run. Veeam has about 400,000 customers. In the one year since we partnered, approximately 2,000 of those Veeam customers entered their Backblaze B2 credentials into their Veeam software to have their data flow directly to us. We've barely scratched the surface of capitalizing on that partnership, and this is just one of many partnerships that we have. We also do joint go-to-market activities with these partners, and as they get more customers, as those customers have more data, and as more of those customers choose to use the cloud, all of those stack to drive more revenue for us. So our self-serve and sales assist motions with our unique content and community and powerful partnerships are how we drive efficiency and scale in our go-to-market. Now I wanna end with our team and culture. All five co-founders are still here working every day to build Backblaze and we have the benefit of a great executive team with public company expertise. I also wanna spend a minute on culture. We believe culture is a key strategic asset. Recruiting and retaining great talent is incredibly competitive, especially here in Silicon Valley. We have been intentional about creating a culture where people care about each other, the customers, and the company. You probably know that a 4.9 out of 5 Glassdoor rating is highly uncommon. What's perhaps even more rare is that we've had only about 20 people choose to leave Backblaze in the nearly 15 years since we started the company. We believe this culture will help us continue to attract and retain the best talent as we scale. Now let me hand to Frank to share more on our financial profile. Thank you, Gleb. Let's talk about Backblaze from a financial investment standpoint. We have three characteristics that combine to create solid, consistent financial performance. Number one, almost all the revenue is recurring. Number two, we have a product mix shift to high growth B2 cloud storage. And number three, we benefit from excellent customer retention. Revenue was 54 million in 2020, and annual recurring revenue was 65 million as of June 30th, 2021. Although our growth through June 30th, 2021 has been strong, it has been slower than last year due to an unfavorable comparison with a year in which we had a computer backup price increase. We expect this unfavorable comparison to end after quarter one next year, 
and we expect for the next two years to benefit from a favorable tailwind from a recent price increase. The company's combined net revenue retention is 110%. We believe this is especially strong considering our mid-market customer base. We've highlighted already the recurring revenue at 98%. Adjusted gross margin is 75%. This excludes depreciation, amortization, and stock-based compensation expense. It includes the cost of our data centers, rent, bandwidth, and utilities, along with the employees. It also includes headcount from our customer care and supply chain teams. Finally, it includes credit card fees. Nearly 98% of our customers pay by credit card, providing automated collection of our invoices. Adjusted EBITDA, which is EBITDA excluding stock-based compensation, has remained positive, even as we have increased investments and prepared for the IPO. Let's talk about consistency. We have proven quarterly growth in both the dollars per customer and in the number of customers we serve. The first chart shows the steady dollar growth at 45% since quarter one, 2019. This is driven by three factors. First, B2 customers steadily increase data stored, causing higher recurring revenue, while computer backup adds subscriptions, especially as business backup clients add headcount. Second, we have upsell and cross-sell opportunities. And third, computer backup revenue benefits from higher pricing. The second chart shows consistent growth in the number of customers, increasing by 90,000 since quarter one of 2019. This demonstrates the effectiveness of the self-serve selling motion. We also show growth by annual cohort. Each cohort represents the revenue from customers added each year. Our customers grew more than two times from their initial start. And due to our high retention, we have years to upsell, cross-sell, and add data and subscriptions. What else drives revenue acceleration? First is our changing revenue mix to B2 cloud storage. Since quarter one, 2019, B2 already grew from 21% of total revenue to 32% as of Q2 2021. We also benefit more and more from B2's fast growth metrics as the B2 mix continues to increase. In addition, computer backup has had consistent double-digit growth during the same period. The recently announced price increase of $1 per month provides another revenue boost. Since most customers have one or two year subscriptions, this increase steadily phases in as they renew. And finally, the IPO proceeds themselves will allow us to invest more in what we know. Let's look at our use of proceeds. We expect to use the IPO proceeds as other high-performing SaaS companies do. These are today's growth initiatives that we are scaling further. The first is for our new products and platform itself. Part of the anticipated proceeds are earmarked for added staffing and engineering, product management, and QA. One recent product innovation in computer backup is extended version history, EVH, which allows for the retention of deleted files. And in B2, we anticipate launching cloud replication in 2022. This would allow storage of data in multi-locations simultaneously thus enabling customers to meet compliance and other requirements and increasing the revenue opportunity from these customers. In scaling self-serve, 80% of our revenue is from this go-to-market motion. We are creating more content, distributing it more widely, and adding resources for improved prospect conversion to customer. Sales Assisted is the addition of inside sales teams for direct selling including targeted email and call campaigns for lead generation. And for partnering, we are adding staff and marketing to develop and grow more joint initiatives with new and existing partners. One final area is in global expansion. We have customers in 175 countries and do see future opportunities to grow internationally as well. 
Let's review margin highlights and operating expenses as a percent of revenue. We spoke about our 75% adjusted gross margin and its composition. In looking at R&D and sales and marketing, you can see that we are already increasing investments in building our teams. The GNA has doubled, reflecting the pre-IPO initiatives in people, processes, and systems, including one-time professional services. Adjusted EBITDA has remained positive as of June 30th, 2021, despite our readiness activities and investments. With that, I will turn it back to Gleb for the investment highlights. Thank you, Frank. We've talked about why this is a great investment opportunity. We've built a business that is at $65 million ARR today with millions of fans and nearly half a million paying customers on just $3 million in outside equity investment through June 30th, 2021. IPO proceeds are investing in a proven, scalable business, and we're excited for this next phase of the journey.